Good evening and welcome to my review. Good evening. Sounds so formal, doesn't it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> welcome to my review of Ghost Cherish uh, by Ghost. I'm not sure if it's Cherish by Ghost or just Ghost Cherish by Ghost. I don't know. Um, they've got so many fragrances now. They, they all kind of intermingle with their names. It's very difficult. But um, this one is called Cherish and it's by Ghost. To date, they've got 18 fragrances, which is kind of, it's a lot to me. Um, I really like the original one, the one that's that shaped, the kind of violety smelling, beautiful floral one. Um, but this one I actually got in a giveaway uh, from my favourite website, Fragrantica. It was, I love it, I love them guys. Uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of losing my train of thought already. It's because I had the bird here next to me a minute ago, I thought I might feature him in the video because he always kind of wants to be involved, but he's, he's back in the kitchen, not all the time, he's not like kept in a dungeon or anything, like, you know, he's just kind of moved into the kitchen so he doesn't tweet so loudly when I talk. But anyway, on to the review. <laughs> this is Ghost Cherish. Um, yeah, they have 18. This is a, a floral fragrance. A lot of their fragrances tend to veer towards that floral, romantic-y kind of feel and this one's kind of exactly the same, it doesn't, it's not anything amazingly different from Ghost, I don't think. So it's a floral, it came out in 2005, um, it's a 75ml that I've got, I'm not sure this one came in anything smaller, I mean I, I don't know much about their fragrances in regards to packaging and size but Mine's a 75ml, um, and yeah, I, I got it, as I said, in the giveaway, so it, I don't have the box or the lid, and I am a stickler for things like that. I do like to review something completely. Just as a little offset, I, I'm wondering if I should start reviewing samples. I've, I've got over 100 samples of fragrances. Do you think it's worth me reviewing... A sample, all of my samples in the same way that I would normally, just without the bottle and packaging. I mean, I don't know. I just like to have the whole thing. But if anybody thinks I should, then if you just comment or whatever, then I'd, I'll definitely do it. I will do it. I just, I know that I like to be complete. I'm just a little bit OCD in that way. Anyway, back to the review. So, yeah, mine's 75ml. It's an eau de toilette. Um, it's one of those very deceiving bottles because right now it looks kind of full. It's a pink liquid, but now it looks kind of empty. It's it's a little bit you know. If you look from the bottom, you, it's like a pinpoint of of fragrance. It's very very small. It's very wide there, very small there. So you might think you've got a lot left, but then by the time you get to there, you're going to run out very quickly. But um, yeah, that's it really. It's, it's, it's kind of elegant, tall bottle, it's lovely light pink and it has ghost written or printed on there in very kind of pale writing. I do love the whole kind of essence of ghost and the whole designer, what they're about and they're very ethereal kind of thing. So their fragrances do tend to be pleasant and light and lovely and that's exactly what this one is. So. Uh, what's in it? So it's got nine notes in total. It's got three top, three heart, three bass. A very structured composition going on there. So the top notes are pink grapefruit, freesia, and apple. Then the heart notes are rose, violet, and pink lotus. And then the bass is kind of typical. Um, you've got cedarwood, musk and amber very typical notes going on there but um yeah it's it's okay i mean it's it's all right it's, it's not something that makes me go wow this is amazing but it's nice enough so what does it smell like i've got it on this hand already drying and i'm going to spray it fresh on this hand like i always do um so the stuff that's drying already um it's my first impressions, or what I would describe it as overall, would be <clears throat> romantic. It's a romantic floral, it's very soft, 
it's very pink smelling and I hate to say pink because you know it's pink already and it's called Cherish and things like that but it kind of conjures up the image of pinkness for me. Um, it's it's soft. It's it has a it has a kind of clean smell to it, and there is something weird about it that I I, I don't know if I, I'm the only person that's smelling it, but sometimes florals to me have a tone where it feels like it has something in it that's the only way I can describe it is is being petals that have kind of been trodden on in rain D does that make any sense at all if you took a fresh petal from a tree i'm not talking about distilled amazing essential oils i'm talking about a real petal and then you kind of trample it into the ground kind of smell this has something like that about it but not not very strong and not the overall smell of it but there's a little tinge of something like that in it which I think is kind of cool because it smells kind of real in that sense it does smell a little bit natural in that in that tiny little sense but the overall feel of it is romantic and soft and pink and I I don't like to compare things to other things but I think it helps if you've smelt a lot of fragrances in your life and what I would say this is a mix of is Miracle by Longcom, if anybody knows what that smells like, picture that, paired together with Echo by Davidoff for women, the pink kind of, it's shaped like that. It's kind of a marriage of the, those two fragrances, both of them have this kind of very soft, bridal, fluttery, pink petal feel, and that's what this has. Um, it's very spring, it's it's kind of a spring scent to me. It's simple, I, I wouldn't say it's the most complex of scents. I think it is very safe, um, inoffensive. It's nothing out of the norm or anything crazy that's gonna get you major, majorly noticed. I think it's kind of a close to the skin, kind of your own kind of smell. It's just gonna be very subtle wafts of fragrance. It's, it's not a powerhouse, jasmine-y, crazy fragrance. It's got violet in it, which gives it that kind of slightly powdery smoothness. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really all I can say. Uh, I've wrote down lots of, like I do, kind of flash words for myself to kind of reference, and that's it really, it's, that's it. It's, According to Fragrantica, which I go on the time, it's it's mainly a rose scent, but I wouldn't say that. It is. It does feel very well blended, so it's not like one thing or another jumps out at you. I definitely would say that it's definitely not grapefruity or fruity in any way. It's more about very soft, petally florals and a lot of femininity and girliness, and it's very simple and clean. And that's it really. It's It's going to be a safe bet. So yeah, try it out. I wouldn't say the longevity is amazingly strong. Smelling it from wet to dry, it's it feels like it loses a lot of its elements when it's starting to dry. It feels much fuller here, but here it's, it's just becoming more linear and very simple and kind of a lot more floral than anything else, but yeah. It's just very safe and easy and that's it really. I'm not sure why it's called Cherish. It's a nice name, but I wouldn't really cherish this scent to be cheesy. So that's it really. I will see you guys soon. I will be reviewing something else soon, no doubt. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.